so we were doing problem number 27 in problem number 27 project x irr already we have calculated now project y we are calculating uh, irr of our project y so project y the annual cash inflows are not constant so we calculate fake pvp so fake pvp initial investment by average cash inflow so initial investment is given in the problem 2 lakh rupees and average cash inflow 1 lakh 20 thousand 60 40 1 lakh 1 lakh so average cash inflow we got 84,000 fake pvp is equal to 2 lakh by 84,000 2.381 now locate 2.381 or its nearest in pv of annuity table against year 5 at 31 percent we found 2.391 we begin our calculations at 31 percent so we have prepared the table in this table year column cash inflows given in the problem 31 percent pv factors we have taken then pv of cash inflow multiply cash inflow with pv factor to get pv of cash inflow total pv of cash inflow we got 2 lakh 4240 actually irr is that rate at which pv of cash inflow pv of cash outflow both should be same here it is not same here pv of cash inflow we got more than 2 lakh so to decrease the PV of cash inflow, we increase the rate. We increase the rate. Earlier we have used 31%. Now we increase it to 35% arbitrarily. And see. So we increase it to 35%. So PV factors at the rate of 35%. Then we take PV of cash inflow. So 35% means 1 divided by 1 divided by 1.35 is equal to 0 0.741 is equal to 0.549 is equal to 0 0.406 is equal to 0 0.301 is equal to 0.223 these are the values we got at 35 percent 0 0.741 0 0.549 0 0.406 301 223 now if you multiply 1 lakh 20 thousand into 0 0.741 you are getting 88,920 similarly multiply 60 thousand into 0 0.549 32,940 here we get 16,240 30,100 and 22,300 the total comes to 1 lakh 90,500 1 lakh 90,500 so at 35 percent we are getting 1 lakh 90,500 at 31 percent we got 2 lakh 4,240 and uh, PV of cash outflow is equal to 2 lakhs so we can see one value is more than 2 lakh and the other value is less than 2 lakh so IRR lies between 31% and 35% IRR lies between 31% and 31% and 35% so actual IRR will be computed by the interpolation formula RL plus PVCFAT minus PVC divided by delta PV into delta R here R a lower rate what is the lower rate 31% plus PVCFAT cash inflow at lower rate 2 lakh 4240 minus 2 lakh divided by 2 lakh 4240 minus 1 lakh 90500 into 4 that is equal to 31 plus 4240 divided by if you subtract you are getting 13740 into 4 is equal to 31 plus 1.23 is equal to 32.23 percent that's it now we got IRR of Y project now we have to compare NPV and IRR for both the projects and can give the suggestion which project should be accepted 
So for that purpose, we will make one table like this X project and Y project. We'll take the NPV already we have calculated and we take the IRR just now we have completed on the basis of these two. So NPV is 1,3200. We have already calculated 1,19,080 and 28.65% we got and 32.23% we got. On the basis of these calculations, we have to give the session. Which project NPV is more? Y project. Y project NPV is 1,19,080. And which project IRR is more? 28.65, 32.23. In both cases, for NPV as well as IRR, project Y is favorable. So we give the conclusion that project Y should be accepted because its NPV as well as IRR both are more. Both are more. That's it. This is the calculation of NPV and IRR. So in most of the examination problems, they will ask a combination of NPV and IRR. Now, see the next problem. Problem number 28. See the problem number 28. An industry is contemplating to purchase a machine. Two machines A and B are available, each costing rupees 5 lakh. In comparing the profitability of machines, a discount rate of 10% is used. Earnings after taxation are expected to be. So year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, machine A. Rupees in thousands. Three zeros are omitted. So after omitting three zeros, we got 150. That means 1 lakh 50,000 it is. 1 lakh 50,000, 2 lakh, 2 lakh 50, 1 lakh 50, 1 lakh. These are the cash inflows of A machine. B machine cash inflows are 50,000, 1 lakh 50,000, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 2 lakh. Rank the investment proposals using payback period and NPV at 10% rate and IRR method. So three methods we have to apply. First, we have to apply payback period method. Payback period method first we apply. Come on, we will take payback period. Problem number it is 28. 28th problem. First calculation of PBP. Calculation of payback period. Machine A. Now you can see annual cash inflows are not constant but it is fluctuating. So we take cumulative cash inflows. We find cumulative cash inflows here, cash inflows, then we take cumulative cash inflows. One, two, three, four, five. So cash inflows are given in the problem that is one lakh fifty thousand. Then second one, two lakh, two lakh fifty thousand, then one lakh fifty thousand, and last one, one lakh. Cumulative, one lakh fifty thousand, three lakh fifty thousand, six lakh, seven lakh fifty thousand, nine, uh, eight lakh fifty thousand. Again, we'll see 1,50,000, 150 plus 200, 350, 350 plus 250, 6, 6, 750, 750, 850. These are the cumulative cash inflows. Now, initial investment. Is equal to 5 lakhs. Given in the problem, initial investment is 5 lakh. Now, listen. Payback period is that period at which the cumulative cash inflows must be equal to the initial investment. Initial investment 5 lakh. Now you see 5 lakh lies in which year in cumulative cash inflows. We don't have 5 lakh. We don't have 5 lakh. Up to second year we have recovered 3 lakh 50,000. Up to the end of third year we are recovering 6 lakh. We don't require 6 lakh. We want only 5 lakh. So the PVP lies between second year and third year. So I am writing down amount recovered up to the end of 
second year is equal to 3,50,000. Up to the end of second year, cumulative 3,50,000. Amount to be recovered in third year. is equal to total 5 lakh from 5 lakh subtract 3 lakh 50 thousand so still to be recovered 1 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh 50 thousand to be recovered in the third year cash inflow of third year how much is the cash inflow of third year 2 lakh 50 thousand so out of 2 lakh 50 thousand we want 1 lakh 50 thousand so pbp will be calculated like this 2 years plus 1,50,000 divided by 2,50,000 is equal to 2 plus. So 150 plus by 250 you will get 0.6. That is equal to 2.6 years. That's it. So we have calculated the PBP of the first project, machine A. Similarly, we calculate for machine B here cash inflows cumulative cash inflows 1 2 3 4 5 cash inflows the cash inflows given in the problem are 50,000 then 1 lakh 50,000 then 2 lakh, 3 lakhs, and last one 2 lakhs. Now cumulate 50,000, 2 lakhs, 4 lakhs, 7 lakhs, 9 lakhs. These are the cumulative cash inflows. Initial investment. is equal to 5 lakh now look at 5 lakh in cumulative cash inflows we don't have 5 lakh so we have 4 lakh rupees recovered up to the end of 3 years and 7 lakh rupees totally recovered up to the end of 4th year so 4 lakh and 7 lakh so 5 lakh will lie between 4 lakh and 7 lakh so IR uh, sorry sorry PVP lies between 3rd year and 4th year amount recovered up to the end of third year is equal to 4 lakh up to the end of third year 4 lakh amount to, to be recovered in fourth year is equal to 1 lakh cash inflow of fourth year fourth year cash inflow is 3 lakh therefore PBP is equal to 3 years plus 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh that is equal to 3 plus 0 0.33 so PBP is equal to 3.33 years that's it so first point we have completed we have calculated the PBP of machine A machine B machine A PBP 2.6 years and machine B PBP 3.33 years. So comparatively, which machine is having lower PBP that is preferable? So according to PBP criteria, it is suggested to go for machine A since its PBP is less. Now, secondly, NPV. So now we write calculation of NPV. Calculation of NPV. Second question. So, in one table itself, we can calculate both cash inflows, year column, uh, PV factors at the rate of, what is the discount rate given in the problem, 10%. Then we take two broad columns, this is machine uh, A and this is machine B. This is cash inflow, this is PV of cash inflow. This is cash inflow, this is PV of cash inflow. Year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
This is the PV of cash inflow. We are, we are going to calculate 0 0.909, 0 0.826, 0 0.751, 0 0.683, 0 0.621. Now we we'll take the cash inflows. Cash inflows of machine A 150,000, 2 lakh. 2,50,000 then we have 1,50,000 and lastly it is 1 lakh so we have taken cash inflows we will take the cash inflow of second project machine B 50,000 then 1,50,000 it is 2 lakh then it is 3 lakh last it is 2 lakh now you have to multiply Multiply the PV factors with cash inflow. This is the PV factor and this is the cash inflow. Multiply 0 0.909 into 1,50,000. You will get 1,36,350. Then we have 1,65,200. Then we have 1,87,750. Then 1,2450. 62,100. The total is 6,53,850. Here also multiply the PV factor with this cash inflow. We will get 45,450. Next one is 1,23,900. Next one 1,50,200. Next 2,4,900. Last 1,24,200. The total is 6,48,650. We got the PV of cash inflow of machine A and machine B. With the help of this, easily we can find out the NPV A machine and B machine. PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow. The difference of this is the NPV. Cash inflow we got 6,53,850, 6,48,650. Similarly, 5 lakh rupees. Cash outflow is given in the problem as 5 lakh. So subtract 1,53,850, 1,48,650. That's it. So we have completed the NPV also. NP 1,53,850, 1,48,650. That's it. We have calculated the PVP and we have calculated the NPV. So NPV which project is more again A project. So PVP says A machine is better. NPV also says A machine is better because its NPV is more. Now we have to apply the IRR formula. Calculation of IRR. So first we take machine A. Now. Already we have discussed for calculating IRR two models are there. The first model will be applied when annual cash inflows are constant. Second model we apply when annual cash inflows are not constant. So here in our problem both the machines the annual cash inflows are not constant. So we calculate fake PVP. The formula for fake PVP is initial investment divided by average cash inflow so first we need average cash inflow that is equal to what are the cash inflows 1 lakh 50 thousand plus 2 lakh plus 2 lakh 50 thousand plus 1 lakh 50 thousand plus 1 lakh divided by 5 that is equal to you are going to get 8 lakh 50 thousand divided by 5 so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 lakh 50 thousand divided by 5 1 lakh 70 thousand is the average cash inflow now fake pvp is equal to 5 lakh divided by 1 lakh 70 thousand you will get 2.941 you have calculated fake pvp now look at Locate a discount factor in PV of annuity table against year 5. 
a factor nearest to 2.941. So if you refer the PV of anonymity table in the fifth year line, any factor which should be nearest to 2.941. So what we will find is at 21%, at 21% you can find the value 2.926 remember even if you are uh, if you don't want to follow this procedure of fake pvp and all these things by trial and error also you can find out the ir how what trial and error just already we have calculated a 10% discount rate we got the npv we got the npv positive irr is that rate at which npv should be zero IRR is that rate at which NPV should be zero. So what we'll do is we increase the rate. At 10% we got NPV positive. 10% se bada percentage lege. 15%, 20%. Arbitrarily at 15 ya 20 percent pe le liye. Lene ke baad usko aage piche karenge, change karenge, change karke IRR aa jayega. So if you don't have anonymity table, you can apply trial and error method. Take any rate of return which is greater than 10% and find out like that also you can get the same answer now at 21 percent 2.926 2.926 is very near to 2.941 therefore we begin our calculations we begin our calculations at 21 percent we start our calculations at 21 percent cash inflows pv factor 21 percent then PV of cash inflow 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cash inflows cash inflows are 1 lakh 50 thousand then 2 lakh then 2 lakh 50 thousand then 1 lakh 50 thousand lastly 1 lakh now at 21 percent the pv factors at 20 per, 21 percent you will get 0 0.826 0 0.683 0 0.564 0 0.467 0 0.386 these are the pv factors which you get on the calculator 1 divided by 1.21 is equal to is equal to is equal now multiply this you will get 1 lakh 23900 then 1 lakh 36600 1 lakh 41000 70050 and lastly 38600 the total comes to 5 lakh 10150 pv of cash outflow is equal to 5 lakh now at 21 percent we got more than 5 lakh so to decrease the pv of cash inflow to decrease the pv of cash inflow we increase the rate let the new rate be let it be after 21 percent will take 24 percent any percentage you take 24 25 23 like that we are taking any percentage it should be higher than 21 percent so i am taking 24 percent so at 24 percent will take pvf pv factors at 24 percent and then pv of cash inflow at 24 percent you are going to get 0 0.806 0 0.650 0 0.524, 0 0.423, 0 0.341. These are the PV factors at 24%. Multiply cash inflow with PV factors, you will get 1,20,900, 1 1,30,000, 1 1,31,000, 63,450, and lastly 34,100. The total is 4,79,450. That's it. One value is more than 5 lakh, the other value is less than 5 lakh. At 21%, PV of cash inflow at 21% is equal to 5,10,150. PV of cash inflow 
at 24 percent 4 lakh 79 450 and the pv of cash outflow 5 lakh therefore irr lies between 21 percent and 24 percent Actual IRR दोनों के बीच में है 21% और 24% के बीच में IRR Now actual IRR we can compute by applying the interpolation form By interpolation we can find out the actual IRR So we know the formula for IRR, IRR is equal to RL plus PVCFAT minus PVC divided by delta PV into delta R so lower rate is 21% and PVCFAT is 5,10,150 minus 5 lakh divided by 5,10,150 minus 4,79,450 into difference kept by 24 minus 21 is 3 that is equal to 21 plus 10,150 divided by Ten thousand one fifty divided by thirty thousand seven hundred into three, you will get twenty one plus zero point nine nine. That is equal to twenty one point nine nine. That is approximately equal to twenty two percent. Ha! So IRR we got twenty two percent for which machine? Machine A. Similar calculations you have to make for machine B. Machine B. First we calculate average cash inflow. Because we need fake PBP. Average cash inflow is equal to total cash inflow 9 lakh. Divided by 5. You will get 1 lakh 80,000. Now fake PBP is equal to 5 lakh divided by 1 lakh 80 thousand you are going to get 2.778 locate 2.778 or its nearest in PV of annuity table against year 5 against year 5 so at 24 percent at 24 percent you are getting 2.745 so fake ppp we got 2.778 so any value which is nearest to 2.778 is 2.745 and this value you can find at 24 percent so we begin our calculations at 24 percent at 24% we start our calculations. The same table I am making, how we have prepared for machine A. Huh. So cash and PV factors at 24%. Now, cash inflows. The cash inflows for B machine are 50,000, then 1 lakh 50,000, 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs and 2 lakhs at 24%. At